Our next speaker is also going to be sharing a very personal story, another story of courage and a story of bravery. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zev Baryadin. Hi, my name is Zev Baryadin, and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. But I always had this distant dream of going to Israel. When I was 14 years old, I was attending Camp Young Judea, and I called my father and I said, Abba, I'm moving to Israel. I think it was more of a statement than a question, but it turns out at age 15, I moved to Israel and attended a school called Mosin Zone Elite Academy. Mosin Zone is a school for kids from all over the world whose parents are about to make Aliyah, and they want to send their kids to Israel first. When I first got to Israel, I experienced a bit of a culture shock. I didn't know the language, and I was in this new country all by myself. But right away, I began to feel connected to its people in the country by the fact alone that we were all Jewish. I didn't have to go to synagogue, didn't have to go to Jewish day school, didn't even have to attempt to keep kosher. It was all just in my surroundings, being surrounded by other Jews. It was finally a norm, not like here in the United States. In 2013, I drafted to the army and attended, drafted into the Gorani Brigade. My first year and four months of training were constant physical and mental pressures. Halfway through my training, we were called down to Gaza for the looming war, later to be known as Tsuketan or Operation Protective Edge. Right away when we got there, they told us because we were still in training, they weren't gonna allow us to go in. And for me, this was a bit of a frustration. One of my biggest causes of going to Israel was to serve in the IDF and do my part to help out in my country in time of need. After the first night of fighting, it was a, a grim morning. We had been told that 13 Golani soldiers had been killed that night. While we were all scrambling to find out who were some of the names because we all had friends inside, I had found out that one of my friends, a fellow lone soldier named Sean Carmelli, was killed. For me, this this shook my world, but it really put it all into clarity. You always read the names on TV, in the news, about you know, fellow soldiers who were killed in terrorist attacks or in war. And now this turned it from names to people you know, to relatives, sons, friends, it could be anyone. My commanders allowed me to leave for 24 hours to attend Sean's funeral in Haifa. And right away when I got there, I saw what Israel was all about. 20,000 people showed up to his funeral, but not because they knew him, because that's the kind of country Israel was, is. It comes together in times of need no matter what. We form a united front no matter what our differences are. Six months later, I graduated my training, and we went to different zones and borders throughout Israel doing different operations, missions, and day-to-day -day patrols. In 2016, I completed my mandatory three years of service in the IDF. After I finished my service, I went to go work for a security company who did security details on travel groups coming to Israel and everyday school trips within Israel. While working for that company, I ended up applying for different security jobs within the government, but first I had to do one thing. That summer, I came back to the United States to work at Camp Young Judea because for me, this was a 360. I wanted to come back and do my part and give back to the camp that gave so much to me. While I was working at CYJ, I realized what kind of impact I was making on these kids. These kids didn't grow up like me in Israel, surrounded by Judaism and Zionism. These kids really needed to make the effort here in the community to involve and embrace that in their lives. I figured, you know, why, why couldn't I be that person to help them do it? I have so much experience, I have so much love for Israel, and you know, I'm at the right age where I can make a difference. So after that summer, I decided to move back to the United States and rejoin my community. I was away for seven years, and I had many different experiences, and I learned a lot about myself. What I realized the most, though, was I didn't have the struggles that most people do here, trying to embrace their Jewish identity in their everyday lives. So what I ask is that we all come together as one big Jewish community and help create that culture here in the United States that we have as well in Israel.
Thank you.